after starting the Big Ten season in a major slump, MSU's game with Ohio State on February 1st wasn't just about a win or a loss. It was about salvaging the Spartan season. It's the loudest I've ever heard any building anywhere. Michigan State was playing Ohio State. Michigan State was 4-4 four four in the Big Ten. Ohio State 8-0. Those were the days when they didn't take six and seven teams from a conference to the NCAA tournament. And uh, that game when, with Michigan State, four games behind Ohio State, midway through the season, realizing if we lost that game, all the dreams were out the window. And uh, Michigan State and Ohio State playing in the first half, and Irvin Johnson is injured. holding his ankle, places as quiet as you can imagine. People don't know how to break his ankle, break his leg, what happened. They help him off. We knew if we lost that game, it was our hopes for a, an NCAA uh, tournament bid was slim to none. And, you know, I think if Magic had a broken leg, he would have came out and played. Because we had no choice. If we don't win that game, I think we sent, finished somewhere in the middle of the pack and don't even get a tournament bid. And suddenly, uh, in the middle of the second half, there was a tremendous roar on the crowd. It's the loudest I think I've ever heard Jenison Fieldhouse in my life. And that, believe me, that place gets pretty loud. You see the crowd start to stand. It's like the wave. It's just going around and the noise level. And you thought, what in the world? And then you realize what it was. And here came Irvin hobbling out onto the field, onto the court. And before he could check into the game, Michigan State scored eight straight points, just with the emotion of that. That just, the inspiration of not what he did in the second half, just sucking it up, he's hurt, and comes back out. It gave that, that whole team a little lift that we needed to get over the hump that game. Michigan State went on to win that game in overtime with the help of some clutch free throws by Johnson. They lost just one more game the rest of the way and finished in a three-way tie atop the Big Ten with Purdue and Iowa.